Hello everyone, I am Anjali Marar, Science Communicator at the Raman Research Institute, Bangalore. Laponite clay is found in many of the materials around us, like paste, insulators, but scientists here have tried to study the properties of this particular clay in absolute small sizes to bulk sizes. Let's listen into what the findings are. Hi, I'm Professor Ranjini Bandyapadhyay from the Soft Condensed Matter Department of the Raman Research Institute. So soft materials such as lotions and pastes, they are characterized by very complex flow behaviors and very fragile underlying structures. Now as a result of these properties, uh, these materials can exhibit viscous as well as elastic uh, responses uh, at length scales that are accessible in the lab. Now interestingly, how uh, how elastic the response of the material is or how viscous the response is depends on the length scale at which we are probing the material. And in the experiments that we are going to show you today, uh, we use uh, bulk uh, flow measurements uh, to look at the flow of the material of, you know, like a, a bulk quantity of the material. And together we also do optical tweezer based active microreology experiment to look at how the constituents of the materials flow at much smaller micron length scales. Hello, I am Weber. So in our recent uh, research experiment, what we have used, we have done is that we have uh, used an optical tweezer which, uh, which focuses a very a laser beam and it traps a particle. It holds a particle in three-dimensional three space. And what we did is that uh, we, we that this trapped particle is in a medium which is viscoelastic. In our case, it is a laponite clay suspension. And what we see is that uh, in a, when we do this uh, mi electron microscopy images, we see that this uh, the, the viscoelastic medium constituent, which is a laponite single particle, they are attached with this probe particle, which is a bigger particle. Now, uh, what we do is that uh, we use this setup to ex extract the mechanical moduli because now the probe is connected. Hi, I'm Anson. So we have this probe particle trapped in the laponite medium, which is held in a sample cell. So what we can do is that we can move the stage back and forth, which causes a motion on the probe particle. But the force experienced by the probe particle will have a phase lag compared to the back and forth for motion of the stage. So from this responses, we can calculate the micromechanical moduli of the part of the laponite suspension. So on the bulk scale, we can calculate the micromechanical mechanical moduli using a machine called rheometer. And interestingly, both of them give different results at different length scale. Interestingly, when we, when we uh, change the uh, size of this probe particle in the optical tweezer based active micrology, we saw that the bigger the probe particle, uh, the more solid-like response it gets from the medium. Our optical tweezer and uh, rheology measurements, it gives us a wealth of information on how different responses of a material can be at microscopic length scales and also at much longer length scales. Now with this information, we should presumably be able to design uh, stronger materials, you know, better materials, materials that we can apply as perhaps, you know, sensors or actuators. Along with that, uh, our optical tweezer allows us to manipulate uh, tiny particles uh, in heterogeneous environments and could perhaps be used to uh, deliver drugs and genes in random and heterogeneous environments.